Hey guys, welcome back to my channel to another Tanika Talks video. If you're new here, this is just like a chit chat, get ready with me style video. Today I have some more personal topics to talk about. I just want to talk about how I've been feeling over the last couple of months, things that have been affecting me with COVID, with the wedding and talking about going and seeking help. So not as upbeat as usual, but I think it's very important to talk about your emotions and your mental health. So that is what I'll be doing today. So if you want to continue watching, then fabulous. If this is a bit too much for you, then I totally understand. Go and check out some of my other videos. But anyway, I hope you enjoy and let's get into it. All right, well, here is the real me. Let's get it together, shall we? Starting off with a coffee in one of my new friends mugs. <sighs> Isn't it cute? It's from Typo. Okay, so I really need to do my hair. It's disgusting. Are you ready for this? Mm-hmm. Wow. Ooh, it looked a lot knottier than I thought. I've actually been using a silk pillowcase for a while and I can definitely tell the difference when I wake up, like even though my hair still looks crazy, it's definitely not as knotty as it used to be. I did straighten my hair a couple of days ago, so it's still kind of straight. So I'm just going to touch it up real quick. Okay, my hair is straight. Look how long it's getting. <laughs> oh my God. I do think I need to go and get a little trim though because the ends are starting to look a bit weathered. But oh my God. <sighs> Okay, I am starting out with my L'Oreal primer, mm -hmm, what's new? So as I said, I kind of want to have a bit of a more serious little chat today. I have been struggling a lot lately and it all started when we had to postpone the wedding. If you saw my last Tanika Talks video, I talked a lot about that and I thought I was feeling better, like it was an emotional roller coaster, but I did think that I was feeling better about it. But really, it just started a major, not a major, but it started a bit of a, a downfall for me, to be honest. All of the COVID restrictions that were coming into place were also very overwhelming, especially for me at work. I work at a cafe and so, Every day there were new rules coming in and trying to deal with that and manage that while also the wedding and my emotions with that, it was just a lot. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Dream Urban Cover and a little bit of the Lightning Drops by Astralis. So yeah, that was all very overwhelming for me and I really just stopped caring. Like all of my routines and just everything like my daily life I was just like no nope. threw my hands up I'm done for example my diet I feel like I have quite a balanced diet and I do have control when I need to have control but oh my god didn't that go out the window as soon as I knew I didn't have to fit into my dress anymore I was just like forget it and oh my God, I've put some weight on, I can feel it. And do you know what else? Because we were isolating, we were not going anywhere. I'm just wearing track pants and cozy clothes. I didn't have to put on my jeans or my shirts to then realize, oh, these are feeling a little bit tight. I'm not feeling very comfortable. So, you know, there was at least two months there of complete binge eating and it's caught up with me. Also because the gyms closed, I wasn't doing any exercise and I've never really enjoyed exercise. Like I've never been a real gym junkie, but I have found a gym that I like and I like to do reformer Pilates and hot yoga. That's my kind of exercise. And because the gyms were closed, I literally wasn't doing anything. I used to be really good with like stretching all the time as well and even doing yoga at home, but I was just like, not, not doing any of it. At the time, I don't think I realized, but now I realize that exercising and doing my stretches really does play a big part in my mental health. The gym has actually reopened and I'm going back tonight 
for a reformer Pilates class and I'm actually so excited. Like I never thought I would say those words that I am excited to go to the gym. But look at me. <laughs> I'm going to go in with the Fenty Cream Bronzer and Blush. I do have a full review on this that I will link down below if you want to go watch it. I feel as though I have strategies in place as well that keep my head in the game. So for example, in the mornings, I like to do this thing called AM pages and you write down, you know, what you're grateful for, what your priorities are for the day, how you want to feel for the day and any worried thoughts that you're having. And that is a really helpful exercise for me. And again, it's one of the things I just stopped doing. I was like, can't be bothered. So all the things that I had in place to keep me functioning and functioning healthily, healthily, is that a word? <laughs> I just pushed them all to the side and couldn't be asked to do any of them. And over the last two weeks, I've really seen how much of a toll it's taken on me. So as much as I tried to not forget about the wedding, but think that I was okay with it, the more I wasn't okay with it. And just with every date that come up to do with the wedding, it was actually really hard. So the day that our wedding was meant to be on, I was, I don't know. <laughs> I was really sad in the morning. My Some of my family ended up staying the night, so we had a little breakfast together. And then Clinton and I just went out for the day, went exploring, spent some time together. And then when we got home, we got all dressed up. I did post a photo of it in my community tab. And we went and had a little photo shoot. So I put my veil on. I had some beautiful flowers that a friend had sent me. Oh, I felt so loved by my friends and family. Just everyone was so thoughtful. I received, as I said, those beautiful flowers from one of my girlfriends. And then my boss and one of my coworkers rocked up with this huge gift basket full of like all my favorite <laughs> snacks <laughs> and also some flowers. Um, I had more flowers from friends. Um, my girlfriend who, a year ago, she sent me, well, a year prior to our original wedding date, she sent me a balloon saying, one year until you become Mrs. Ackerman. And so on the wedding date, she sent me another balloon and it said, what's another year until you become Mrs. Ackerman? So that was just really thoughtful and put a smile on my face, which I was just so grateful for and just felt so loved by everyone. <laughs> But yeah, so we went down the road, there's like a grass patch in our street and we took some photos. I got my sister to take some photos of us. I'll insert some now on the screen. So that was really fun and I think it'll be a really nice memory to look back on. A few weeks after our original wedding date, it was our 12 year anniversary. So that was kind of like another bittersweet moment. I thought, you know, we should be married. Like you should be my husband now. And I had that expectation going into that anniversary that that is how it was going to be. And we were going to celebrate like that. So even though that was a great moment for us and we're celebrating 12 years together, it was also kind of like, I don't know, just, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, it just wasn't what I thought it would be. <laughs> and so Clinton had actually booked us a night away somewhere. He was surprising me. But I was so sick and you can probably still hear it in my voice. I have been sick for like two weeks. And also before our anniversary weekend, I had to go and get a COVID test. So I wasn't even allowed to go anywhere anyway, because I had to isolate until I got the results. So that was just kind of like another little kick in the guts. Like, oh, it's your anniversary. Woohoo. Oh, uh, nah, you're really sick. You can't go celebrate it. <laughs> I'm sorry if I sound really complainy, like that's not what I want to do. I just want to let you know what's been going on. And the full circle of things is what it comes to now is that everything that has been bothering me, as I said, it all goes back to the wedding. And I realized that I, 
I need help. I've always preached, go seek help if you need it. Go talk to someone if you need it. Because I am very open with my feelings and I, like, I'm very emotional and I do like to talk about my emotions. I feel a lot better once I talk about my emotions, if you can't tell. So I realized that I, I need to go and get help and I just need to talk to someone. I'm feeling so overwhelmed. I need someone that isn't my family or my friends just to give me some new, just some advice and some new ways of coping with these feelings. Because as I said, I feel like I've got all these things in place to help me every day and I've just thrown them all out the window. Like they don't even exist. So here in Queensland, I'm not sure if it's an Australia wide thing, but we can go to the doctors and ask to be put on a mental health plan and it gives us 10 free counseling sessions. Okay, I've just done my brows. I'm going to dip into the Morphe and Jeffree Star palette. I've only used this like once. I don't think I'm going to do anything too crazy, but yeah, let's see. So as I was saying, we are eligible for the free counseling. And so I went to the doctors, I had a little chat to her, got a few referrals. So I'm currently contacting a few people, just trying to find the right fit for me. So I haven't actually gone yet, but oh, I'm so excited to go and just let it all out and get some tips and new ways to help deal with these overwhelming feelings. When we first went into kind of this isolation lockdown period, I really didn't think it would affect me that much. I was like, oh, sweet. Like, I love being at home. I like being alone. Like, this will be great. But then what I've realized now is that not being able to catch up with my friends and talk about things with them, it has been really hard. And I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who feel the same way. Like not being able to talk to my girlfriends face to face about the whole wedding thing has been really tricky. And I realize now how much of a toll that's actually taken on me. So over the weekend, we finally all got to catch up and oh, it was just so good seeing my friends again. But yeah, I hope you can understand where I'm coming from and I don't just sound like a whingy broken record about the wedding, but it's just like, I don't expect a lot of people to understand, but you know, when you've been with someone for this long and you're looking forward to marrying them and, you know, really making that commitment and celebrating your relationship, which I'm so proud of our relationship and I really wanted to celebrate that with everyone. To have it taken away, just postponed, it was really, really heartbreaking. But I feel like now that all the dates have gone, like the original date, our anniversary, the one year date, like I feel like, okay, I don't have to think about it for a while now. I can just relax for a few months. And then by the time all this COVID stuff's over, I can get back into it and hopefully it'll be like normal again. I'm feeling a bit more excited to like get back on track as well. Like, as I said, with the gym opening, I feel like, okay, this is one thing that's going to get me back into my normal routine. And when I go to the gym, I feel like I eat better as well because I'm like, okay, I'm doing all this hard work. I need to help my body and not be a pig. <laughs> the other day I just sat down and wrote a list of things that I know I need to implement back into my routine to start feeling better. And I had about six things and so I didn't overwhelm myself. I kind of broke it up over two to three weeks. And so I'm going to just start introducing these things back into my routine so that I don't get overwhelmed and I don't feel defeated if I can't keep up with everything. So I'm starting out, like I said, by exercising um, and also just being a bit better with my diet. So making sure I prepped lunches for when I get home from work, because when I don't do that, I will literally buy a bag of chips and eat a whole bag of chips for lunch and then finish it off with some chocolate or some cookies or whatever else is lying around the house. 
Okay, so I just finished my eyes. Those shadows are all right. It's a lot more warm than what I thought it would be. I don't know, I've just been like really loving simple eyeshadow looks lately. I used to really enjoy dipping into color and being a bit more creative, but lately I've just been like, like in the more neutral tones. But anyway, I am going to apply the Astralis Girl Boss Lipstick in Empower. And last for highlighter, I have the Revlon Skin Lights Highlighter. This is in the shade Daybreak Glimmer. I've actually been really enjoying this. It's quite golden undertone, but if you go in lightly, it can work well for fair skin. Oh yeah. Ooh. All right, well, this is the finished look and the end of today's video. I hope that me sharing some of my struggles may be helpful to you. I know that this whole COVID time has been quite stressful and overwhelming for a lot of people and it's affecting everyone really differently. As I said, I've always been a preacher of go and get help if you need it. And now the tables have turned and I'm in that position. I really wanna go get help before this like overtakes me. I wanna get control of it while I can now and just start putting things back in place, routines kind of getting back to normal before the feelings take control of me completely. But anyway, thank you all for watching and for listening. If you need to have a little chat, just leave me a comment down below. I appreciate all of you and I hope that you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.